What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today we're back and at Locals and we're playing a new deck. So this deck I wanted to show it to you guys. It's a deck that just got a lot of support in Photon, not Photon, Phantom Nightmare. I think the deck's actually really good and really underrated. It might not be the best format for it, but the deck is hyper consistent and it does what it wants to do really, really well. And the deck that I'm talking about, of course, is Magic Spectre. This card here, one of the best cards in the deck, it's an extender for the deck, and there's just so much more that this deck got, and I wanna get into that for you. But make sure to like and subscribe if you guys do enjoy these videos. With that being said, let's get right into the deck profile. So, we are starting off, of course, with three of the brand new Porcupine. This card is an extender for you. Essentially, just during the main phase, you control a Magic Spectre monster, you can special summon this. That's the main effect that it has, and that's the main effect they're gonna be using it for. It's also a scale two, which is really important. You guys are gonna see, we're gonna try to even out the scale twos and the scale fives as much as possible because we need to be able to pendulum summon, uh, pendulum summon as much as possible right so three porcupine three bunbuku as well so bunbuku is actually just a one card combo i'll show you guys the combo later but essentially this alone sets up your pretty much entire board and it's absolutely insane so you have to be playing three bunbuku and i want to say one thing about magic specters that i really like that uh, a lot of people might not be prepared for is the magic specter monsters actually cannot be targeted by uh, card effects so your opponent if they have imperm if they have Veiler, it actually doesn't really work against the magic specter cards so bunbuku is actually really safe is a normal summon in this deck and you're not worried like in other decks if you go normal summon let's say low right and they go imperm or something like that it, it kind of hurts whereas with this deck imperm veiler all dead which is really nice so uh yeah three bambuku of course one of the best cards the best starter of course in your deck and then uh we're playing three qb qb is really important as well so qb adds uh, a trap card which is really nice and it being able to add trap cards means you're going to be able to end on cards like tempest and cards like tornado which are some of your main disruption in the deck then for other three ofs we're playing three ogama ogama does the same thing as QB, but instead of adding a trap, it uh, adds a spell or trap, which is really nice as well. So it just gets to your spell cards. And then lastly, we're playing two of the Yada as well as one Nekomata the cat. Uh, the cat, what it does is it adds any Magic Spectre card. So it doesn't have to be a, it could be a monster. It could just be any Magic Spectre card. And then Yada is specifically a spell card. So all of these cards are all gonna add cards to your hand. And how this deck essentially wants to operate is as a mid-range deck where essentially what you're doing is you're not setting up really big boards. You're setting up boards with maybe two, three, four disruptions at most. But then that one disruption, let's say you go one disruption, it's going to summon another body. The other body is going to get you an extra card. Essentially on turn three, you're going to be wanting to OTK and win games on your turn three. And that's how this deck operates, right? So that's it for the Magic Spectre monsters. But then lastly, I do want to give a shout out to um, uh, Majesty Pegasus. So Majesty Pegasus actually acts as a Magic Spectre card, which is really nice. So that's why you're playing one of this and it gets you to a field spell that is absolutely busted in this deck if you guys don't know everything in this deck is spellcaster and that's going to be really relevant for something later but that's it for the magic spectrum monsters and keep in mind this is a pure list so because it's a pure list you're really maxing out on a lot of these names because you really want to be able to use them as much as possible then this card absolutely nuts for the deck it just came out in uh phantom nightmare as well or phantom yeah phantom nightmare this card is absolutely insane so essentially what this is going to let you do is once you're setting up a lot of your boards you're going to actually want to end on this card set as well this also lets you help you like dodge dodge stuff as well which is kind of nice but ending on this is really good because it really pairs well with the brand new monster in the extra deck which i'll explain in a little bit but three of the wind of course and we're just playing one cyclone cyclone is pretty good as well it just uh, targets the monsters and destroys it so just one of those uh, removal cards for you and then we're playing one tornado tornado is tribute a card and then uh you target a monster and banish it so it's kind of like this one this banishes this destroys and then tempest is pretty much like a solemn strike for the deck so that's it for the spells or traps and i'm going to include the field spell as well majesty's pegasus this card is is kind of good it's not the one that you actually always want to end on the one that you actually always want to end on for field spells is your secret village so secret village is a card that you're always going to be able to search off of your majesties and during your one card combo you're always going to be able to get to this so essentially how it works is you're going to be ending on your link to your ixies monster plus this and essentially you're essentially spell locking your opponent so you're spell locking your opponent you're going to be able to set up at least one or two of these so you're going to have at least two pops two banishes two negates two disruptions so no spells multiple disruptions and then follow up and that's kind of how the deck works right so that's it for the magic specter spells and traps and then we're playing three prosperity of course for consistency and because we're in a hand trap format we're playing three ash three veiler three droll and three infirm just maxing out on all the hand traps that you guys can be playing the best hand traps of the format another option for you guys in the main deck is nibiru i personally just think droll is a little bit better um, in this deck specifically because it's actually a wind spellcaster and that's very important as well because there are hands where you brick actually let me show you guys something funny so let's say if you completely brick you don't open a magic specter name at all which very unlikely probably not going to happen this is actually a wind spellcaster 
which means you can actually use it for your Majesty's or Magic Spectre Wind. So you can normal summon this, worst case scenario, use this and get your combo started. And that's why it's so important actually to be playing Droll and Lockwood specifically in this deck in the main deck. Of course, it's a good card in general, but it just synergizes really well. So that's it for the main deck. It's 40 cards on the dot. I think it's just really consistent with all the names, with all the consistency cards. There's never a time where you really actually break. For the extra deck, we're playing two or three new we actually. This card is the most important card in your deck. You're going to keep going this in, into this pretty much every single turn. It's how you get a lot of your combo started as well. So this is really important. And then we're playing two of the Rio. Rio is a really good card. So essentially how Rio works is once a card is tributed, you can detach a card from this and a special summons another one from deck. Being able to special summon another one from deck means that you're going to be able to get more follow-up and then you're going to be able to get more bodies on your side of the field. More bodies on your side of the field means you also have more tribute fodder for your cards like Tempest or Tornado. And the more tribute fodder means you're gonna get more cards and then you're gonna have more disruptions and that's kind of how the deck works. Again, it's one of those mid-range style decks, right? Then we're playing Axis Code Talker, Celine. This is very easy to make. All your monsters are spellcasters. So it's kind of like an OTK package for you. Playing IP and SP, just really good cards. I know SP is, okay, this deck is very budget actually. So if SP is just a little bit expensive for you guys, you guys can cut this for Unicorn. It doesn't really make that much of a difference. You don't go into this too often. One Beyond the Pendulum, one uh, Exceed the Pendulum. We're playing one uh, Win because all our monsters are wind of course this card is really good one appaloosa which is really nice and then for going first if you do have the extra bodies in hand when you're pendulum summoning when you have extra bodies uh baguska and dweller are two really good cards that you guys can be making as well so that's it for the extra deck i think it's just a lot of uh you guys can see it's a lot of utility the main cards you're really using are your link two and the uh, rank four and then access code is kind of how you want to be able to otk and stuff right so that's it for the main deck extra deck side deck again it's always going to be up to personal preference but i want to show you guys a quick side deck so three bell this could be Diddy Crow as well. It's really up to you, whatever you guys feel is better. But three bell is really good into today's format. Three Nibiru, of course, going second. This card is really good. Three Cyclone as well is good into this format as well. It just, I'm really just playing the best cards into this format. Three evenly matched, and then three Solemn Judgment when you're forced to go first. This card is really good siding and going first, right? So, it really, the side deck is kind of up to you. It's always going to be up to personal preference. But at the end of the day, it does come down to, you know, whatever your locals is like, whatever your scene is like, and then you can build your side deck uh, accordingly, right? So uh, that's kind of it for the deck profile here. I can show you guys a combo real quick. It's just a one card combo. I'll just show it to you guys. So it's just Bambuku essentially. And Bambuku, it's a 1.5 card combo because you need a discard. So I'll show you guys how it works. So it's Bambuku. Plus, let's just say a Baylor, okay? Let me show you guys this combo. So let's say you have your Bambuku plus any card, doesn't really matter what this is. What you're gonna do is you're gonna normal summon your Bambuku, you're gonna search a card, right? So you're gonna the card you're gonna search is your Porcupine. You're gonna be able to activate the Porcupine effect to special summon it. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna link these two away, they're gonna go to your extra deck, and you're gonna link them for your link to Nui. Once Nui summoned, you can add two face-up cards from your extra deck, Magic Spectre cards specifically, and then um, you can put two more into your extra deck, if that makes sense. So you're gonna add these two back to your hand, and the two that you're gonna put is your Majesty Pegasus as well as your it doesn't really matter at this point it could be ogama could be yama it doesn't really matter as long as you're getting to a spell or a trap so now that these two are back in your hand here what you're gonna do is you're gonna scale your bambuku and scale your porcupine and you're gonna pen summon two so you're gonna pen summon your majesty pegasus and you're gonna pen summon your ogama so now you can go chain like one chain like two you're gonna be able to search your secret village here and then ogama is being able is gonna be able to get you a spell or a trap at this point you can get wind at this point you can get the trap it doesn't really matter this is just a very basic combo and then let's just say this is gonna need to discard so you're discarding the veiler here let's just say you get the tornado right just to make it simple and then you have the secret village so you have you activate secret village you make this into your uh, rank four over here if you guys want to extend further like i'll show you guys like instead of getting tornado you guys can actually extend further and go win tribute this and then you can use this to summon another one there's a lot that you guys can do here and you guys can push for a lot deeper but just the main combo you're ending on something like this and ending on this is pretty much monster banish and then you have spells your opponent can't activate spells and then you have follow up for next turn so that's kind of like just the one card combo very simple combo but uh again you guys can extend to make this more depending on what you have in your hand you can obviously pen summon more monsters go into more Ixies plays go into more link plays etc etc but uh yeah that's it for the deck profile i hope you guys enjoyed that is magic specter post phantom nightmare very good deck very powerful deck in today's format i think you guys should try it out so thank you guys all for watching thank you all for being the best cameraman on youtube but with that spanko sign it out peace